G'day, g'day everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now in this one, I'll be showing you guys how to make super trap melodies that sound like so. If you want to download that loop and many others i'll be leaving a link to my artist connect in the description and if you too want to start sending your own loops out to billboard producers around the globe i'll be leaving an affiliate link in the description where you guys can save up to three dollars off your first month but if you are new here i would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button for me and while you're at it you might as well flick that bell to get notified every single time that i upload a video with that one being said let's get into fl studio and let's deconstruct this sample okay so here we are inside of fl studio and as you can see with this sample we honestly kept it really simple as we only have four layers now we are working at a bpm of 170 in the key of b minor but we do use a sound shifter at the end bumping it up one semitone so we are actually in the key of c minor now the first element of this sample comes in from dune and the preset that we are using with that one is the brute sign RL. Now the pattern that we are playing with that one is something really simple. As you can see, we are utilizing it as an ARP where we go B, C sharp to F, and then B, C sharp to G. Just to force a little bit of rhythm, as you can see for the second part, we do have a little bit of a break before we actually play the G. Yet again, the F sharp to G, utilizing that semitone, creating a lot of tension with the melody, and the ARP sounds like so. Going on to the effects with the ARP, yet again, keeping it really simple. First of all, we do have a portal come in, which we are using the Acceleration Bank by Enviral. And if you do want a link to that one, I'll be leaving a link to his YouTube in the description and to his store as well. Go over there, show the guy some love. After portal, we are using a retrograde, which is a plugin created by Simon Savita. And if you do want an in-depth look at it, I'll be leaving a link to a video of mine where I went over it, gave it an honest review, the good, the bad, the ugly. I'll be leaving that one in the description. And last but not least, an EQ comes in where we're getting rid of some of the high end and some of the low end. The next element of this sample comes in from expand and the preset that we are using with that one is the gentle grains. The pattern, fairly simple as we are just playing the root note over two octaves, as you can see with the B4 and the B5. And in context, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Fairly simple, but really repetitive. Going on to the effects with Expand, all we have is an EQ, getting rid of a lot of low end. After the EQ, a fruity love filter comes in, which we are just using the default preset. The next element of this sample comes in from Dune yet again. The preset is the airy voice pad, and the pattern that we are playing, simply just two notes, going D down to C sharp. Copy, paste that one over, and this is what the texture sounds like. Fairly simple, going on to the effects with the texture, all we have is an EQ getting rid of a lot of low end. The final element of this sample comes in from Dune yet again, the preset being Angel of Paradise. The pattern with this one is really simple as we started off with a B minor triad. We got rid of the middle note, keeping just the first and the fifth, making what's known as a power chord. Then all we did with the top note is we just played around with the tension going up and down one semitone going F sharp to G. Copy, paste that one over again and again and again and we ended up with a foundation that sounds like so. Just 
just a really simplistic foundation. Going on to the effects, all we have is just an EQ getting rid of some of the high end and some of the low end. Now all the melodies get routed over to insert 5. And what is in insert 5 is the following. We start off with a sound shifter where we pitch it up one semitone, transposing it from B minor to C minor. After the sound shifter, we bring in a half time. After the half time, we bring in an EQ, getting rid of a lot of low end. A shaper box then comes in, which we are using the Cyber Crunch preset. After the shaper box, in comes an SSL compressor, just to bring up the sound and make it a little bit more level. Last but not least, an L1 limiter comes in, being used as a brick wall. With all those effects, we end up with a final sample that sounds like so. But yeah, that is how you can make Super Trap melodies for Radar inside of FL Studio 2024. Now, if you do want to download this sample and many others, I'll be leaving a link to my Artist Connect in the description. And if you too want to start sending your own loops out to billboard producers around the globe, I'll be leaving an affiliate link in the description where you guys can save up to $3 off your first month. If you are new here, though, I would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button for me. And while you're at it, you might as well flick that bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time for another video.